Hello everyone, so this week we're looking at the artist Yayoi Kusama and she is known as the queen of dots. This week we're using dots to help show form, making these shapes look 3D. We're starting off with a border. She frames her paintings using a border. It's her own unique way of framing her artwork. So we're gonna do the same thing with ours. Her frames and her artwork are really colorful and funky. So you can kind of have a lot of fun with the frame, making sure there's lots of shapes, patterns, colors. First, we're just gonna be drawing it out and then later we'll be coloring it in. Adding a couple more details here. Your guys' frames can look however you'd like. We, uh, I showed some examples in the beginning here. If you want to look back at any of those, some of them had zigzags. So now I'm getting into drawing organic shapes. So her artwork has a lot of organic shapes, which means shapes that don't have names. She does some layering. So if I want to show some layering, I'll make sure that the piece is in front doesn't have any pencil lines going through it, so that's why I erase those two lines. If you want to make your uh, shapes look like they're popping out of the frame, just going over the frame a little bit will make it feel like your shape is kind of coming out at you. Once I've filled up my page with some organic shapes, then I'm ready to start picking what kinds of colors I want to use. Markers are going to work best for this project just because they'll be able to move very quickly. But you could use whatever supplies you have around or at home, and that will work just fine too. So I'm starting in the middle with my big dots. Things that are closer to us are bigger, things that are farther away get smaller. So by having the big dots in the middle, it looks like these shapes are kind of coming at us. So then I'm surrounding those medium size and they get smaller and smaller as they move towards that edge. And lastly, I'm doing a dotted line. So I'm just lightly tapping my marker so I can get these really teeny tiny dots. And then I'll add a couple just on the inside to help blend it in. And then that is my shape. I'll look at it afterwards to see if there's anything that I need to do. I need to make some dots a little bit bigger, I can do that. If you need to combine some dots, you could do that too. So now I'm using my medium dots. My smaller dots. I wanna make sure that I don't have like the same color touching so if I did purple with this one, I wouldn't do purple with the shape behind it. So I'm changing some dots, making them a little bigger. And I'm gonna have to do one that's a little bit more finished this up and then show you how we can color them in. So when we're coloring them in, we can use colored pencils or crayons. I like to pick colors that are similar to the shapes, or the shape that I colored it in with my marker. So with that green, I could go for green, yellow, or blue, depending on what kind of effect I want to give it. I'm erasing my pencil lines. So I'm going in with the yellow over the green. 
So yellow will kind of brighten up this shape and kind of bring it forward. Or if I use a blue or something a little bit darker than green, it'd push it back a little bit more. I'll show you what that looks like for the shape. So even though I use the green marker, just changing that background color really gives it a different kind of effect. with this orange so we could see what that would look like if I use the same color. So now I'm using this kind of pinky color with the orange. So pink is like red, and orange is made with red and yellow. So using the red or the pink kind of pushes it back, or if I use the yellow over the orange, it would have kind of brought it forward. Okay, so once your shapes are all colored in, you can start coloring in border. I use a combination of markers and color pencils for my border, but you can choose to use whatever supplies you have available. I think markers make it look really bright and vibrant like the shapes, so that's why I chose to go with that. Now I'm adding in a little bit of a background. I thought it would be interesting to do kind of like a swirl, but I'm pretty much just kind of circling whole piece, kind of lose track of where it is, but once I start coloring it in, it's a lot easier to figure out where I am. If you wanted to, you could do like a block of a color, or if you wanted to, you could combine a couple different colors together. Right now I'm just kind of lightening up my pencil lines because I knew I wanted to use a light colored marker. So now you can kind of see, now that I'm coloring it in, it's going to be every other kind of line is going to be colored in. But you guys can come up with your own background, it's up to you what kind of background you want to have. And once I finish coloring in my background and my border, I'm all done. And that is our Yuyoi Kusama inspired drawings. I hope you guys had fun making these. I know I did. Here's a few more examples. Different borders, different sizes, different backgrounds, shapes. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.